want to know if this little blinking puck saves winter mornings or empties wallets. So stay tuned and see if the hype survives. Rayhong sells this as a pocket-sized snow removal miracle that shakes air molecules so ice never forms on your glass. Price, bundles, urgency, language, and claims of ice-free windows without scraping. The page leans on phrases like powerful energy and safe for people and pets, yet shows no lab tests or certifications. No real before and after photos either, just studio shots of a plastic puck on a spotless dash. On Trustpilot, people who bought electromagnetic defrosters through Honey and Pine describe months-long shipping, surprise rebilling, and gadgets that only blink. One buyer names the Rayhong Advanced Snow Removal Device and says several storms still left four inches of untouched snow. When independent reviews across countries repeat that story, you know the marketing fantasy is colliding with reality in a pretty loud way. Look, look at the hardware again. You have a tiny plastic pod with a small solar panel or USB charge port and a basic battery and light inside. Meanwhile, the copy talks about electromagnetic molecular interference and violent vibration of water molecules while also promising no heat and no radiation. Those ideas do not match basic physics, and there is zero third-party data to back them up. Investigators who dissected a nearly identical Biancat electromagnetic snow remover found it was basically a cheap air freshener shell rebranded as Space Age Tech. Their write-up walks through the playbook, high-pressure ads, vague science language, no meaningful proof, and plenty of angry customers chasing refunds. Different logo, same script, which strongly suggests this whole product category is built on wishful thinking, not engineering. Follow the money trail. Honey and Pine, the shop tied to many of these gadgets, carries an F rating at the Better Business Bureau, plus scam tracker reports and unresolved complaints. Rayhong does have a registered trademark and polished websites, which shows some business effort, but not product effectiveness. When customer service looks messy and charge disputes pile up, you should assume refunds will be a grind. Meanwhile, groups like AAA still recommend boring tools that actually work, such as ice scrapers, de-icer spray, and de-icer spray in time with the defroster running. No credible safety organization tells drivers to trust a palm-sized dashboard puck to keep glass clear through a blizzard. So is this electromagnetic antifreeze snow removal device worth it?